Five tips building landers. Number one, wide base. While constructing your lander, pay special attention to the center of mass. Try to keep the center of mass low on your vehicle and between widely spread landing legs. A lander with a high center of mass and a narrow base is at extra risk of tipping over. Especially landing in low gravity places like on the moon, a wide base is very important. Number two, reinforce. Reinforce your lander's load-bearing areas with struts, connecting parts to each other, and transferring force to the main hull. Take care when attaching parachutes that the tug will be evenly distributed around the center of mass. Number three, drop test. Test your lander on Kerbin before sending it into space. Attempt powered or parachute landings and subject your lander to forces that it might not normally encounter. Testing your landing systems on Kerbin can save you a lot of time. Number four, keep it lightweight. It's easy to build a lander with too much fuel. Especially in sandbox mode, it might not matter, but it can be fun to try to build optimal vehicles. You want to determine your vehicle's delta V value, the speed in meters per second that it's capable of changing. Number five, delta V. You can use mods like Kerbal Engineer or McJeb to obtain the delta V each stage is capable of, the amount of velocity each stage is capable of changing. You can also obtain your total delta V by completing maneuver nodes and writing down each one's meters per second. You can use a delta V map, like this one from the Wikipedia, to ensure your spacecraft can accomplish its mission and see how far it could go. Using these tools can save you a great deal of time, obtaining your total amount of delta V and comparing it to the delta V map. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for 5 tips. Building bases.